You don't win souls to Christ to get them in your church. You win souls to Christ to keep them out of hell. You don't win souls to Christ to get another dollar in the offering plate. You win souls to Christ to get another soul into heaven. We need to wake up. I wonder what we'll tell God when we face Him at the judgment seat of Christ. And we've been taught the Bible. We're a fundamental premillennial. I mean, we're as straight as a gun barrel. We're separatists. We're everything else. But we're letting folks die and go to hell all around us. And if I ask you to stand... If you let a soul to Christ in the last week, I'd be ashamed, and you would do it. How many stood in this congregation? But if you and I who know the gospel do not share this gospel with those who do not know Jesus Christ, and they die, it's an irretrievable loss. They not only die a physical death, they die a spiritual death. They suffer the second death, they go into hell, and they go into fire, and they burn forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and they never get out. And we're sitting here, and we know where the food is. We know the bread of life. We know the gospel by memory. Today we passed hundreds of people on the street who've never heard about Jesus Christ. Today we pass people at McDonald's and Hardee's and the other restaurants you may have stopped at and you never left a gospel track. I wonder what God thinks of us in light of the Great Commission when He said before He left this world, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and no generation has ever evangelized the world since Jesus left. And we're no closer to it today than we've ever been in my lifetime or anything I've ever read about. Well, somebody said, God didn't call me to win souls. Well, I, I beg your pardon, sir. Soul winning is not a calling. Soul winning is a responsibility, a God-given responsibility. It is not an option. It's an obligation. You ask like saying, God didn't call me the tithe. God didn't call me to get baptized. That's a command. You do it because he said do it, not because you feel like it or feel called. And yet we pass people by every day of our life and say, well, I'm not a soul winner myself. I, I don't have the gift of soul winning. Soul winning is not a gift. One man has as much responsibility to lead a soul to Christ as does any other man. And I'm looking at a lot of fundamental Bible-believing Christians ain't been doing nothing. And you ought to quit. You go to church and like these lepers, you eat and you eat and you make your spiritual notes and you got notebook after notebook full of the Bible. You got sermons after sermon, lesson after lesson. You're just eating and eating and eating. And all around you men are dying and going to hell because they don't know John 3, 16 and what it means. If they say, I don't believe it and choose to go to hell, that's their business. I used to say to our congregation, it's not our job to win souls to Christ. It's our job to show people how to get saved. If they don't get saved, that's their business. But if we don't show them how to get saved, then we're going to answer to God at the judgment seat of Christ. If the average businessman worked no harder than the average preacher, he'd be bankrupt in six weeks' time. How do you know your brother and sister know how to go to heaven? What about that neighbor you pass every Sunday morning? You've been passing her house 25 years going to your fundamental church. You've never told her how to get saved. She may die and go to hell next door to you, a fundamental Christian. Or you say, I'm afraid I'll drive her further from God. How can you drive her any further? She's lost. You can't be more lost than lost. The Bible said faith cometh by hearing. It didn't say you run them off by hearing, that faith comes by hearing. But she hasn't heard anything because you haven't said anything. We have eaten the bread. We know where the food is. If you have tasted Jesus Christ, if you've eaten the bread of life, that's all the qualification you need to tell the story. Now, I'm not saying drop out of school, but I'm saying right now that everybody here, whether you be a housewife or a farmer or a truck driver or what, don't let people go to hell because you don't have an education. Tell them in your own words how to get saved. You don't have to memorize a record or a book. Tell them in your own words how to get saved. They're waiting. They're starving. They're going to hell if we don't tell them. 
we have the we have the only thing fit to eat and we won't tell anybody about it. Then we cuss because they go and join some foreign religion somewhere. It's our fault. It's our fault. You're going to face God at the judgment seat every believer is. Not to answer for sin, but to answer for service. 